اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین السلاۃ والسلام علی رسول الکریم نبینا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم خاتم الانبیاء والمرسلین رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من اهلي my very dear honorable respectable quran course fellows our quran family i say assalamu alaikum to all of you and i welcome you all to the understand al quran the easy way part 2 and i congratulate you that alhamdulillah you are part of the blessed journey for which the prophet of allah peace be upon him said khairukum man ta'allama al quran wa 'allamahu the best amongst you is the one who learns quran and teaches it and mashallah this is your level 2 which means you have already covered level 1 and i expect and i hope that you have now a passion and an urge and a motivation to at least start teaching some parts of the qc1 level 1 and you are preparing yourself to be able to teach level 1 fully so <clears throat> uh, we'll be very happy to have you all by the end of this course ready as teachers of qc1 level at least and teaching it in your own surroundings uh, communities countries wherever you are from so for today in this short session i am going to give you an introduction it's uh, uh, he, it's mostly the same thing which we which we gave in the beginning of qc1 level introduction of the course designer and mentor alfla mandil trust Uh, myself as a course facilitator a little about course introduction and requirements and methodology and lesson plans uh, as you were mentioned earlier all all these series of quran courses have been designed by dr abdul aziz abdur rahim while my teacher and mentor for these courses is arshad iqbal malik he is the chairman of alfla manzil which is uh, set up here in pakistan in islamabad to spread the message of allah and bring together like minded families for the revival of muslim islamic ummah through an understanding of quran by promoting islamic way of living on a 24/7 rather than on a 5/7 basis you know our lives are now becoming 5/7 uh, muslim we are muslim at the time of fajr prayer zohar asar maghrib isha the rest of the life is spent uh, you know in a very different way while islam wants us to spend our lives in an islamic way on 24/7 basis in our personal family and business lives so inshallah this learning of quran understanding taking lessons uh will will inshallah help us to have a uh, true islamic lifestyle uh may i request you all to please stop writing in the chat box and you can ask me any such question at the end of the uh, you know session i will be available uh, for any of your issues and concerns so about myself you already know and i take pleasure and pride in being a student of quran however i have certified uh, i have uh, attended and i am a certified quran teacher conducted multiple online urdu and english uh QC1 QC2 level trainings uh and for Dawa Academy International Islamic University for ulama and scholars as well with a very basic understanding of tajweed uh my professional profile is uh, i am a doctor and i work with islamic university and there are few things uh, especially i would like to mention that we have set up an organization with the name of tasaddaku and i want you to take inspiration for setting up a similar setup in your own countries and places and communities whereby uh, we all together contribute to help uh, economically underprivileged people to start their own uh, living and livelihood so on a very small scale now before we begin the course for anything we achieve in our life or start we are always thankful to allah so alhamdulillah rabbil alamin 
And after Allah, there are many who help us to accomplish and achieve in life. So my family of support teachers, especially Brother Hai, uh, Sister Sidra was also sitting with us. And I, I, though I don't see at the moment, but other equities as well, Shah Zeb, Brother Bilal, my own family, my children uh, who set up things uh, and, you know, help me to run these Quran courses smoothly. You will be provided Quran course support and assistance through technical workbook, class support, homework support, and quiz support by the support teachers. And Jazakumullah Khaira to all those who have spread this message to you and have invited you and brought you to the course. For your introduction, again, whenever you join the Zoom class, join you the first name and the country name to make it easy for us to understand your background and your name and to interact with you uh, comfortably. Uh, for any personal questions, you can always WhatsApp. You already know me, you've been with us. So you know the entire procedure. You also have the number, uh, which is the Pakistan number 092-349-5044 and double uh, nine zero. So for your WhatsApp materials, any questions and inquiries, this is the number of your immediate concern, okay? So make sure you, you have this number with you and make sure you're part of the WhatsApp group already. It's uh, it's uh, uh, Quran group, QC2147 Quran English International Group. This is the group title. So now moving forward towards the the plan of the program. So once again, congratulations to you on learning the Quran, the Book of Allah. These are the complete dates, important dates for you. I will send you, inshallah, you know this PDF file as well. So starting today, Saturday, 23rd September, every week, Saturday and Sunday only for one hour. Course will end on 16th of December. Your mid quiz will be on Sunday, 5th November. And final quiz will be on Saturday, 16 December. So these are important dates. Please remember them. Every week, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Pakistan time. So try to be regular and punctual to make sure you could have a maximum hands-on learning during the classes. Uh, we will, inshallah, try to plan to have short trivia sessions before the class from next week, rather from tomorrow. So... So make sure you're part of those short uh, revision sessions. Uh, it is optional, but this will help you greatly. This is a complete plan with dates. For you, you, you see it is very well planned. Everything, every date, which lesson on which date will be planned. So have your planning. Planning is very important. You know, this universe is also working on the principle of planning. The great planner, Allah, the best of all, has planned everything for us. So plan it in your life that you're going to have classes on every week, this time to this time. So no other work should be done at this time except learning Quran. We will send you a formal registration link uh, as is a normal procedure after this first orientation class uh, by inshallah tomorrow to register formally with us. You will be sent your homeworks online. You know it already the way we have been doing. Uh, same is criteria as was in level one for your certification. 15% uh, marks weightage is homework, 15% workbook, midterm quiz 30%, final quiz 40%. And if you get 90% and above, you get a certificate of excellence or certificate of merit or completion of participation. And this is the certificate, inshallah, we all send it to you. And uh, for course material, of course, it is not possible for us to send the hard copy course material to all the people in the world. Uh, so we will be sending you soft copy materials to all of you, uh, especially the workbook. You can print it out and you can solve it with hand and then submit it to us. However, participants from Pakistan, they can get the hard copy material from al Flamandil Trust and details will be mentioned on the registration form. 
Remember, for asking questions, we will give a break during the session and towards the end of the session. You will raise hand and you will ask question. Just show me how, how do we do it. Somebody please raise hand, say something so that we... Okay, so this is Sulet Abu Maryam. Uh, unmute yourself, please say something. And that's all. So, how are you? I'm good, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Welcome aboard. We are so happy to have you with us again. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, doctor. So this is this is uh, so brother is with us again, and this is the procedure. You raise hand, we take you on board, so you can also ask question and communicate and participate in the classes as well. Yeah, brother Sambo. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? You can unmute yourself. Okay, probably is finding it difficult to unmute, but anyways. We know that we raise hand. We unmute ourselves. Mashallah. So welcome aboard, everybody. Now, for asking questions, you will raise hand, ask a question. Uh, if I would know the answer, I'll give it, number one. If it is a personal type of question, I'll say one-on-one, -on -one, ask through WhatsApp. If it is a question for which the answer is coming in the future, so I'll make this sign in the coming classes. If it is question not relevant to our course and lesson, I'll say th do this. And if I don't know the answer, I would request, please hold it. And I will get the information and get back to you. Because of course, I'm not an encyclopedia or Google that I should know all the answers. I will consult my teachers books and then get back to you. So, Limited questions during the session and as many questions as you wish at the end of the session. So last thing before I come to the uh, now our uh, first lesson and that is a clarification and I always give this clarification and which is uh, you can call me Kashe for brother or doctor or sir, whatever you find easy, but uh, please uh, avoid calling me uh, Mufti or Maulana or Sheikh or Scholar or uh, Alama because I do not qualify for all these things. I'm just a very simple basic student of Quran. I've learned it from scholars and I'm just transiting it to you, transferring it to you. Okay. So with this, this was the just the basic introduction and orientation of the session. Now let's begin with our first lesson inshallah so bismillah rahman rahim uh, for this session uh, we i am going to introduce to you the qc2 level quran course 2 so after the first course level 1 in which you learned 50% word the quranic words learn to translate 50% of the quranic words and I'm sure you have also applied it and you have taken benefit of learning these words while reading your Quran and you know the meanings of many of them. For example, I've just roughly opened this uh, uh, page and I think each one of us after QC1 can translate this. So almost every word uh, except khafa we have covered in the QC1. So you see in the in this part of the ayah, there is just one word which we are not familiar with. The rest of them we know. So inshallah, now since we have done the QC1, in the QC2, we will be covering the first five pages of Quran. First five pages of Quran. And when I show you these fingers, then interestingly, <clears throat> we will relate these five pages with the five fingers. Very interesting. Five pages, five fingers. So actually, we will cover one page on one finger, 
second page, third, four, five. So uh, all five pages on the five fingers. How is it? Very interesting, right? So what if I tell you that we have to cover these five pages in 20 days? So how many days for one page? Tell me, how many lessons or days for one page? Four. Excellent. Four. Yeah, four. So it means, it means if one page is one finger, so on one finger, how many lessons? Four. Four. four lessons. Excellent. So this, this is the methodology we are going to use. Very interesting. Our each finger will cover one page. And we will divide that one page into four parts. So meaning by each finger will have four different lessons. So inshallah, we'll keep these five pages on the five fingers and each finger will have four. So approach will be same as we did in QC1. Uh, first part, we will cover the Quran part. Second part, through actions, we will cover the grammar part. Very easy, right? This is how it is designed. See, I said four on one finger. So one A, B, C, D, four parts. Let's page one, A, B, C, D. So each part will have A, B, C, D. Meaning by one A, Quran part, and one A, grammar part. So one B, Quran part, one B, grammar part, inshallah. This is this is the complete layout of our uh, you know, this uh, course. Next, we will know, inshallah, 80% words of Quran by studying just five pages and the grammar. The only thing is, you have to make a commitment to continue to understand Surah Al-Baqarah. So first five pages will help us to know 80% words of Quran. Imagine just 20 plus 20 hours of these two courses. And Allah is so kind and it is so easy. As Allah said in Quran, Walakad yastan al Quran al zikr. So this book will become much more easier for us. We will open it and we will know what is being said here. So if I am reading, I, I am reading now randomly. I have opened Quran. Allah waliyul lazina amanu yukhriju humina zulumati al nur. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَوْلِيَاءُ هُمُ الطَّاغُوتُ يُخْرِجُونَهُ مِنَ النُّورِ إِلَى السُّلُمَاتِ أُولَٰئِكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ Now interestingly I tell you, I am also just a, just a uh, normal student of Quran, but Alhamdulillah, and I've done these courses, I can translate every word of it myself. I've not gone to any madrasa, not spent much time, but these courses... And Allah has made it easy for me to translate this complete ayah. So inshallah, each one of us will be able to do this. Now, so see, this isn't it a miracle that this course one, 50% we were able to translate. Now, another miracle, Surah Bakara does not have that many new words. The same words are being repeated. So in this surah, we will already know six out of nine words per line when we will be, we will start our study. Imagine. So see this. For example, we are starting. So the two new words are only hudan and al muflihun. You already know the meanings of ulaika. By the way, please tell me anybody, what was the meaning of ulaika we learned? Those. 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 Those, yeah. We learned this action. Zalika, Zalika that, Ulaika those. Right? So, mashallah, we already know him. Know it. <clears throat> and do you know the meanings of Rabbi him? Can you do the action for Rabbi him? Which side? Yeah, Lord. Right side, all fingers, Rabbi him. We have learned it in QC1. Their Lord. Right? So, so we already know so much by having done our QC1. So what I'll request you all here is, uh, you know, you have this class today, we have started QC2. If you feel your QC1 is little weak, or you, you need to have a better command on QC1, 
please, before the next week classes, try to revise your QC1 because your QC1 is the base for QC2. And there is also an opportunity. We have started a new QC1 last night. Classes are held every Friday and Saturday. Uh, evening time, 9 to 10. So if somebody is interested and you want to revise it for the purpose of having more command and confidence, you may like to join it. <clears throat> Same uh, link, which is which is which which was sent to you this morning. So even if you don't become part of the group, you can just sit and observe and uh, uh, take the classes for the purpose of uh, better practice and command of QC1. Because your QC2, inshallah, will become much, much more easier if your QC1 is strong. Right. So five pages, inshallah, will cover. See the new words. They will be very, very less on each page. On the first page, there will be only 10 new words. Second page, 35. But these 35 words we are going to cover in four lessons. So further divided, less than nine words per page, <clears throat> per lesson. So inshallah, you're going to learn them all through very interesting method. So once we have done it, once we would have done QC2, so only two new words per line. Brother, could you please uh, mute your mic? Okay. So this is an example of it. Now, next objective. Learn pointers and phrases for easy learning of vocabulary. So what are pointers? See, we are going to use pointers and phrases for learning vocabulary, an easy and interesting method, and TPI and spoken Arabic conversation for grammar. Let's see what the pointers are. As I said, Quran has 30 juz. Each juz has 20 pages. We are going to learn first five. See this entire map of it. So the first five pages, we will take on five fingers, right? And these five fingers, inshallah, this is how we will cover them. Now, just try to make it and by the way, just notice this is one finger. These are two together and these are two together. Can you make it? Is it easy? Uh, you know, in the beginning when I was learning, it was very difficult to bring them together like this. And what I'll do is I will do this to, <laughs> to make it easy too. You know, what is the reason? Why do we have these two together? Can somebody tell me any idea? Anyone who would like to share why these two, two fingers together? Actually, the pages of Quran, which we will be learning, they are also facing each other, two pages together. So we will also, so first pages alone, and then two, two pages. So this, this is the pattern we are going to follow. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. These are the five pages we are going to cover. Right. And now these fingers, each finger we will have, as I said, one page will be divided into four parts, four lessons. So each finger will have four pointers on it. Each finger will have four pointers. This pointer will be <clears throat> the topic of the day and of the text. And this will remind us the translation of the entire uh, lesson will will actually point us to that for example see here now this is the first page by the way we have normally in the quran uh, the surah fatiha is on a separate page and some part of bakara but we have gathered it into one page to make it easy so you see there are four pointers now praise for allah praise for allah first pointer and this is how we will remember them on our fingers dua for guidance Guidance for Muttaqeen and attributes of Muttaqeen. Now the entire page in four pointers is on my first finger. And inshallah, once when we cover the entire course, complete course, all these pointers will be on our fingers like this, five fingers. The entire 
five pages on five fingers. So don't get upset. It's going to be difficult. No. Uh, you see, we are going to do it in 20 classes. So gradually, in one class, only one pointer it will be very easy for you to remember. We will practice it so many times that you will not find it hard to remember it. So tell me, what is the feeling? It will be a great feeling, you know, to have the entire five pages on, on your fingers, inshallah. And when you'll be able to look at your hand, it will recall to your mind just to make it easy. Okay, this is the pointer, right? So five fingers, five pages, each finger will have four pointers. So that is the methodology we will use for pointers. We will do the complete pointer and we'll do their short form as well, right? So pointers, how will they help us? They will give us the context. Okay, this is the context. So the, this is the meaning of the new words. So we'll make it easy for us to remember the new words. They will work as anchors for you to memorize the meanings easily and then being able to recall them also. They will also help us to visualize the subject of the page. So, you know, by one thing, the whole subject will come to your mind. Okay. For example, if I just say right now, uh, you know, Second World War, Hiroshima. So what comes to your mind? Japan. Yeah, Japan. Japan comes to your mind. What else comes to your mind? Nuclear. Nuclear dropping of the atomic bomb. So you see, I gave you word and it has ignited your mind for the whole story. That's what we will do here. This is the methodology we'll use, inshallah. So it will be very useful in memorizing Quran. Alhamdulillah. Now, phrases. How would we take help from phrases? Okay. Now, if I ask you all, what is the meaning of in? Tell me in the chat box. You know, it becomes difficult for you to respond. Although you have done your QC1. But the moment I will say, inshallah, you all will be able to tell the meaning. In means, if, excellent. So as, uh, as sister Halima, brother Ismail, and iPhone, brother Shahid, they are all responding, if. Yeah. So, so, but notice the change. If I just ask in, it will be difficult to recall. But if I say, inshallah, it will be, it will be very easy to recall. Inshallah, if Allah wills. So phrases. We will also try to remember the meanings with the help of phrases. Okay. Sister Mary Shakhtar. Sister, please ask it at the end of the class. If you have not done the QC1 level, uh, it will be difficult for you to continue here. You can join our QC1 classes. I will share the contact with you for that. Okay. So inshallah, uh, phrases, it means that they know the answer, but in a phrase and not alone. So phrases will make it easy for us to remember the answer. That is the way to learn vocabulary easily. Memorize phrases, not words. You know, memorizing words is difficult. It's rote learning, burden, stressful. So instead of memorizing in, memorize inshallah and memorize the meaning. So instead of memorizing the meaning of Samad, Memorize the meaning of Allahu Samad. So it will be easy for you to recall. So instead of memorizing the meaning of Yaki, Yukimuna, if you'll say Yukimuna Salah, so you'll understand, okay, these are the ones who establish Salah. So Yukimuna is establishing Salah. So, so okay, sister. So phrases also provide us anchors for our brain to remember the meanings of new words. It, they help us to remember the message, make more sense. And inshallah, it is very powerful and effective. Okay. So whenever we will introduce a phrase, what will we do? Just a little, you know, uh, tip to memorize them uh, better effectively. We will use this formula. 
R five S ten loud. Don't try to memorize this formula. It's just a tip. What is it? There's a new phrase, so just relax. Okay, use your five senses. Hear it, see it, smell it. Imagine smelling the words of Quran and messages of Allah. That's it. Feel it. Imagine what is it being said? Actions, verbs, and images for nouns. Okay. So these will, uh, after having done it, just spend ten seconds at least to say it out loud. so that your ears could hear you yourself and then it will become easy right so we will use this inshallah whenever there is a phrase rather than being afraid of it oh it is a difficult thing no we'll say alhamdulillah relax i can relate it to something like this so you remember we related the feel Arabic word feel with a big, big animal. So what comes to your mind? And to a story in Quran and to something which is loved by children. So now what comes to your mind for this Arabic word, word feel? Anyone? Yeah, Allah exactly. Excellent. Yeah. Sisters, Mariam is rightly saying elephant comes to our mind. So similarly here, you, you know, once you will relate it to something, it will be easy for you to bring the meanings in mind. Inshallah. So pointed and phrases, phrases will make it easy to learn new words. Fourth objective is learn how to apply Al-Quran to our lives. Inshallah. That is very important. For example, whatever we will study, we'll see what lessons we learn from it. And tomorrow in detail, we will. We are also going to study this part of Fatiha, which we have covered in QC1. But just for the purpose of review, we'll cover it again and see what lessons we take from it. We will also see the model which we apply. So it's not just uh, uh, memorizing Quran, but bringing it to our life. So we will use this model. We utilize, feel, pray to Allah, evaluate ourselves, plan for it, propagate, tell everybody. So this is how, inshallah, we are going to do it. And next objective is learn weak verbs that occur once in every line of Quran. In QC1, we covered the sound verbs. Okay. But in, in QC2, we will, inshallah, cover the weak verbs. And I'll explain to you what these are. Bonus is that we will learn 200 plus Quran related Arabic spoken sentences. So that is the bonus of the course. Right. So let's start first page today. A very short part of it, of the first lesson. So first page is, you know, these two pages we have put together to make one page like this. And Surah Fatih and the start of Surah Bakara taken as one page. Now, let's divide it into four parts, four pointers. Praise for Allah, dua for guidance, guidance for muttaqeen, attributes of muttaqeen. So this is one page whole and four pointers. Now, let, let me show you on the hand like this. So let's, let's start now. You also practice with me. Who would like to practice it? On the fingers, praise for Allah, dua for guidance, guidance for muttaqeen, attributes of muttaqeen. Yes, Brother Sulaid. Mashallah, you're the first one to come forward and participate for the... Yeah. Praise for Allah, dua for guidance, guidance for muttaqeen, attributes for muttaqeen. You're all requested to please do the same things which I'm doing. Keep your hand in front of you. Do these pointers on your finger. So that th these, inshallah, then are recorded in your mind. And when you recall these subjects, and please don't think that, you know, this is very easy. We already know the uh, translation of Fatiha. But as you will move forward, we have to remember other things. So just practice them. Start practice them, practicing them right now. Okay. So more people, I would like at least three people to come forward. Remember, this is Quran class. 
actively participate with passion, love, association. Yeah, so I need two more people to come forward and practice them. Mashallah, Brother Mustana Hakim. Yeah. Hey, praise for Allah, dua for guidance, guidance for mutakin, attributes of mutakin. Mashallah. Sister Hadiza. Praise for Allah, dua for guidance, guidance for mutakin, attributes of mutakin. Mashallah. Excellent. So, uh, every time when we repeat them, we will inshallah at least repeat them three times to make it easy for all of us to practice and learn. So very easy inshallah. So for today, uh, before I come to the first pointer, then the short form also. Praise, dua, guidance, attributes. Praise, dua, guidance, attributes. Praise, dua, guidance, attributes. So today our first pointer is, you know, only the first one. But we are going to learn ta'avuz as part of al-fatiha. We have already done it in the QC1, uh, these parts, word by word in the course. But, uh, and we will also take, inshallah, 12 excellent habits that will lead us to success, inshallah. So let's, let's now come to the lesson. Ta'avvus. A'uzu billahi minash rajim We will say, follow the same method. First, the Arabic. Then the translation. I seek refuge from shaitan the outcast i seek refuge in allah from shaitan the outcast so you know we have already told you recite the avus before reciting quran because shaitan does not whisper you during tilawah and stop you from pondering the verses and stop you from getting guidance so we seek allah's protection for general things, we can always start with Bismillah, but for Quran, we start with Auz Billah. So we have to implement this zikr in our everyday life, everyday life. So we also learn the first habit from it. Safety first. Save yourself. Whenever you feel the shaitan is whispering and giving you wrong ideas, negativity, say Auz Billah in a shaitan rajim. So Auzu, I seek refuge. Billahi in Allah. Min from a shaitan, the outcast, the rejected one, the one who is away from Allah's blessings, and a rajim, the outcast, right? So we seek. Inshallah, that's how we have just covered this part today. This is how we will study every day, and the rest of it we'll cover tomorrow. So, any questions here before we start? Any questions? Brother, you had raised hand. Somebody had, has raised hand. I, I missed it. Yes, brother. Musana Hakim. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Oh, uh, Bismillah rahman rahim was put on each and every surah of Quran. But uh, why, why isn't it? Uh, why is the awud not? On any one of the surahs. Sorry, sorry, brother. What is the question? Bis Basmala is on each and every surah of the Quran. Why, why isn't there ta'awud on at least one surah of the Quran? Ta'awud, a'ud billahi in the shaitan rajim on one surah at least. Uh, well, actually, the Quran orders us to seek Allah's protection. It is one of the ayah from which we'll take this lesson that this we should be seeking Allah's protection before uh, reciting Quran. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah. So uh, now the as I said, we will inshallah move towards the grammar part. Okay, A'uz Billah min shaitan rajim. In grammar part, we will do the, uh, today inshallah I'll introduce to you the weak verbs. Weak. What does weak mean by the way? 
this this is not the week the days uh, of the week but the other one when you feel weak not very healthy so with each page inshallah we'll have uh, a grammar lesson so today since we had lesson 1a a quran part we have already covered so now we will do the lesson 1a grammar part okay and uh, interestingly we will use the tpi but let me explain to you the weak verbs so that when we do them it is easy for you first of all every line of the quran you remember we said in qc1 average has how many words nine words now when we categorize them into different types of words and you have also learnt in qc1 how many types of words are there tell me everyone how many types of words are in arabic or three three mashallah three excellent and what are these three types yes brother sulaith an ism that is a noun a fi'il that is a verb and a harf that is a patiko excellent your mic is muted brother and a harf uh, the one that had some patiko. internet issues and the third one is a uh, harf which is a preposition yeah very right excellent excellent and you know so in quran on every line average there are three ism three fail two harf and one could be a modulation of ism fail or harf and i'll explain to you what it is so now let's look at the proof first of all these are ism okay now when we open quran in the beginning so let's look at the first line ulaika ala hudum min rabbihim wa ulaika humul muflihun so ulaika rabbi him ulaika and hum these are the is okay the the highlighted ones in blue now see this one this is an example of the fail appearing in different lines of quran hudan al muflihun kafaru uh, hum and unzir hum fail anzarta sorry anzarta hum basically anzarta in it and tunzir these are the afal now these are the huruf ala min inna ala ala am lam so you know interestingly if you learn 10 new harf after sala course the qc1 so you you would have already covered 95% of the huruf in quran you remember we learned some in the qc1 and some of them we will learn here so learning 10 more you would have covered the 95% of the roof of quran so this is the composition of the ism fail harf for the quranic words now so what do we need to do for each one of them harufs do not change like la ma in inna li fi so we would just remember the names uh, remember the meanings and nouns we have to learn their plurals singulars plurals so like uh, you know kalb qulub so kitab kutub but the main challenge we have it is with the verbs because they appear in various forms they appear as in the madhi form mudare form amr wa nahi as well as ism fa'il maf'ul and fi'l but to to command over it you know we have a very interesting method of tpi so do you remember this table all of you yes yeah great so who who would like to do this table fastest amongst us who has the fastest practice of this table 
brother sulet i want others also to wake up and actively participate i am thankful to you you are always very kind but please all others please come forward you are learning quran it's not sleeping time so activate yourself so i want to see a new person a new name who who, who will revise this entire table with me at my speed faala faalu faal tafaal tu faal tum faalna ismail yes brother ismail assalamu alaikum sahab wa alaikum assalam faala faala faalu ifal faalu yafaluna ifalu no brother brother wait a minute wait a minute brother did it do it the same way we did it faala faalu faal tafaal tu faal tum faalna yafalu yafaluna this is yeah <laughs> i need to practice <laughs> <laughs> okay okay no prob no problem so can i do uh, it yeah sister please go ahead sister halima faala faalu faalta faaltu faaltum faalna yafalu yafaluna tafalu afalu tafaluna nafalu ifal ifalu la tafal la tafalu fa'il maf'ul fi'il excellent sister mashallah you get 10 stars for it what a nice speed smooth very well done So, brothers and sisters, please remember: if you want to master over the QC two now, QC one tables are very important, and with actions, please, because if you will know the actions in QC two, we are going to add lots of afal in a very easy and interesting manner. Inshallah, you would love it. But the only requirement is your good practice at QC one and with actions. You remember we have learned these actions: faala, he did faalu. They did falta. You did fal tu. I did fal tum. You all did fal na. We all did, and we also did the you know the feminine one. By the way, can somebody do you remember what was the feminine form? Faala, faalu, falta. Faalat. Mashallah, excellent sister. Sister, you have a great command over it. Yes. So 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 we have learnt it with the feminine form. Faalat. Yaf alu. He does. Yaf aluna, they do. Taf alu, you do. Af alu, I do. Taf aluna, you all do. Taf alu, we do. Hiya, taf alu. She does. If al do, if alu do, you all. La taf al, don't do. La taf alu, don't do, you all. Fail, the one who does. Mafool, which is being done. Fail to do, or the act of doing. so these actions are instrumental for your better command and learning of qc 2 okay inshallah but these were the afal which we did there are types of afal types of fail and these are the three letter verbs you remember we also said it in qc 1 three letter verb fa ta ha ma fa ra fa ra ba sa mi ya so but we also uh in the slack course when we were covering them so so we did these ones but today now we are starting a new concept which is of weak letters which letters weak letters and weak letters are wow ya and alif so why because these weak letters and they they give the sounds of a weak person as a weak person will also make a sound like you know what happens when somebody is sick what type of sounds that person utters anyone good at you know the person would say oh e a o Mm, yeah mm, you know so so the these oh. excellent so you are all good at uttering these sounds so u e a so this is how we will relate these letters to remember them better so these three weak letters the problem is they are so weak that if these weak letters come in any verb or fail they make the entire fail weak so they make the entire fail weak that's why we call them weak verbs 
So, for example, in Wahaba, which one is a weak letter here? Wow. Excellent. Wow. In, wow. in Wa'ada? Wow. 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 And in Kala? Alif. Alif. No. Alif. So, so, remember the concept. If someone's hand is weak, so the person becomes weak. So, these are the weak verbs because if even one letter of the three is weak, it makes the entire verb a weak verb. So, these are the weak verbs. The verbs, these are the sound verbs because there is no weak letter in them. Fataha, Nasara, Daraba, Samia. They appear in Quran. 9,000 times and weak verbs appear in Quran almost 9,000 times. So, so it is very important inshallah that we learn these weak verbs. Very easy. It's just the difference. Remember, if there is a weak letter, they are weak verbs. If there is no weak letter, these are the sound verbs. Why are we making this differentiation? This I will inshallah tell you gradually because I don't want to confuse you. Very simple in a very easy manner. So in every line, almost in every line of Quran, usually there is one sound verb, one weak verb. It means if we learn them, we learn something for every line of Quran. Alhamdulillah. So today, by the way, other than these, there are also verbs in Quran, which we call as verbs with more than three letters. More than three letters. In Arabic, we call them Mazid Fi Afal. So don't try to remember it. I'm just uh, uh, giving you some information to remember that there are other Afal also, but they are very few. And we can learn them later. In, in QC2, we will only learn the three-letter weak Afal. Okay? So there are more than three-letter Afal like Ikhtalafa. How many letters it has? Ikhtalafa? Five. Yes, five. So there are additional letters in it. We are not going to cover this. We are going to do easy work. Uh, easy work, right? In QC2. Three letter weak verbs, which are one in every line. Let's have a little introduction of how many three letter weak verbs we are going to cover in this course. Very easy. Six basic weak verbs. Only six. And with the help of these, some other weak verbs, inshallah. So wow. to remember them, oh, we will repeat that. them so much time. We will practice them that we will all would know their meanings. So wahaba, wa'ada, qala, zada, da'a, hada. Now, if I ask you, where is the weak letter for wahaba and wa'ada? Is it in the beginning or middle or end? In the beginning. In the beginning. And in Kala and Zada, where is the weak letter? Yes, in, in the, the middle. middle. In the middle. In the middle. And Da'a and Hada? At the end. At the end. At the end. No, what we learn from it, weak letter could be any one of the three letters. Right? It could be in the beginning or in the center or at the end. So wherever the weak letter is, it will make the entire word weak. That's it. Now, let's look at these six. Yeah. Okay. Now, these six, the six weak verbs, the prime uh, major weak verbs, which we are going to cover in the 20 days course, the, but, uh, are these six. So let's just do a little practice for them. Wahaba, he gave. Wahaba. We will do the complete thing gradually. Today I'm just doing a little. Wahaba, he gave. When, when something great is given, a great reward or something, uh, uh, something rewarded. So we use Wahaba, he gave. Wa'ada, he promised. Kala, he said. Kala is the most uh, occurring verb in Quran. In various forms. He said. Zada. He increased. Da. He prayed. 
or he called Hada, he guided. So these are the afal, which weak afals, inshallah. Just look at their style for today, that the weak letter comes in the beginning, in the middle, at the end. And you remember in QC1, we made a small poem to remember the meanings of Fataha, Nasara, Darabaya, uh, Samia, uh, Fataha. If you open the Quran, Fataha, he opened. Allah will help you. Nasara, he helped. Otherwise, you will be hit. Daraba, he hit. Therefore, listen. Samia, he listened. So we remember the meanings very well. Similarly, here is also a small poem. Allah will give, it is a promise. So you know the meanings of two verbs. Wahaba, he gave. Wa'ada, he promised. So both come in it. Allah will give, it's a promise. Next. In fact, he said, he will give more. Kala, he said. Dada, he increased. And therefore pray to him for guidance. Da, he prayed. Hada, he guided. So it becomes very easy. And so don't worry yourself. We are going to learn them over the 20 lessons, inshallah. Today I'm only introducing to you what are the things which are going, going to cover in grammar part. So that's all. This is what we have to cover, inshallah. We we are, uh, alhamdulillah, completed our uh, lesson of the day. I'm sorry I've taken two extra minutes. But I, I just want to make a little request to all of you. I will always try that we do the, we cover our lesson in one hour. Uh, but because it is QC2, you know, and we are alhamdulillah trying to learn Quran, coming closer to it. So if sometimes we take a little more time in QC2 level, uh, is that okay for all of you? Maybe five, seven minutes or 10 maximum? Just let me know in the chat box. Will that be okay? Or you want me to strictly keep it only 60 minutes? I think you know, for better learning and to make sure that you have a better practice uh, rather than running with the time and trying to cover it. Okay, mashallah. Thank you, Jazakallah. Most of you are saying it's okay, so we will try that, you know. Uh, but I'll try that I remain within the time limit. However, sometimes maybe a little more time for your practice, better understanding. Our purpose is to come closer to the book rather than just covering the lesson. Okay. So Jazakallah khaira, Subhan. May Allah help us to recite, understand, ponder, implement, propagate, and memorize Quran. Amen. Allahumma wa bihamdika nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. The class time has finished. Now we will have questions.